What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Plant Based News. From UCL. With the greenhouse. <laughs> The first story for today, a new vegan butcher shop opens. So apparently there has been a little bit of a backlash, right? On Yeah, the National Hog Farmer blog recently released uh, like an article just kind of slamming the butcher shop, calling it unethical yeah what does that even mean because of false advertising some people think it's stupid for vegans to recreate meat because you've chosen to stay away from meat. because they're yeah. using the word pork when it's not actually meat when you think of the butcher shop you think pork chops and t-bones not at all a place mm. for vegetarians no. so apparently it's unethical yeah so, so that's like saying that's like saying it's false advertisement to say humane slaughter when it's actually not humane the term butcher is a little controversial oh, it's just the fact that they even think that they can say this is just an absolute joke well because you're not butchering anything yeah. well you know we butcher plants the plant-based world is part of the future and we're going to take the word butcher with us so the next story we have from you guys is from france's biggest rated talk show um, in which Pamela Anderson and Captain Paul from Sea Shepherd appeared and they basically criticised Greenpeace for not being aggressive enough in their tactics and how like Sea Shepherd are doing yeah. a much better job at trying to protect yeah. the earth and the animals. And Pamela Anderson like had all of her vegan like badges on and stuff. Yeah. So our next story is about how a lamb was put on a carousel for live TV and was spun around for entertainment and the opinion from the audience was just like so negative and they were all really horrified at like why, why they were doing this yeah. and it was really cool because the farmer guy was like why are you even yeah. why are you even upset like this is not this is standard life yeah. on the farm and like people could see like you can see the eyes in the video you can see the yeah. eyes of the, of the, the lamb like she's like trembling yeah and people are just laughing yeah. in the audience. But people are laughing, but they're also like ghosts, and they're like, oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Maybe this will help the general population make the connection between what they see on their plates and what it actually is. We have a bit of a more positive story coming from Finland in which Finnish um, animal rights activists have successfully closed the dolphinarium. Yeah. Amazing. Dolphins are really intelligent animals and I've even seen it firsthand where we use them to like do tricks and they can jump really high and stuff but they're obviously dolphins dof just they don't treat the animals very well and it's really cruel to use animals for our entertainment. Mm -hmm. So yay it's closed. In other news John McDougall the creator of the starch solution which we all know and love <laughs> is releasing a new book in September and I love the name. It's called The, the Healthiest, Healthiest Diet, Diet on, on the, the Planet. Planet. Why the foods you love, pancakes, potatoes, pastas and more, are the solution to preventing disease and looking and feeling your best. He says Star Solution is the best book he's ever done. And yeah. apparently uh, the publisher company says that they, can make, it they can make it better. Harper One came to me and that's a big book company. And they said that they can uh, help me write a better book. And I said, I doubt it. But uh, they really believe that they're going to put out a, the masterpiece. Talking of books from vegan doctors, Michael, Dr. Michael Greger from NutritionFacts.org has a new book called How Not to Die and it just reached the New York bestsellers list. Is it number one? No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, we wish it was number one. Okay, but it's up there, which is awesome. Thanks for having us on the show, Klaus. Oh, Klaus, UCL vegetable alumni goals. We miss you. We <laughs> miss you. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that episode from Plant Based News. This is UCL bringing you the news, the latest in veganism and the vegan movement. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>